When you enter Disney Castle Park, you'll most likely find yourself in a Main Street USA. This land, yes, I consider it to be a land, is themed to a turn-of-the-century American town, inspired by the American town of Marceline, Missouri, where Walt Disney grew up. Every Main Street is different, and some parks don't even have one. Tokyo Disneyland has the World Bazaar, which is still very similar to the original Main Street, but covered. Shanghai Disneyland, though, is a completely different story. Here, there is the Mickey Avenue, which is a more cartoony version and doesn't have all of the Americana theming, for obvious reasons. Let's go back in time now, because during the development of Disneyland Paris, Imagineers were trying out new ideas. Some of those very strange, like this Discoveryland-themed castle. But what interests us today is the 20s version of Main Street USA. So, let's explore this lost concept. Oh boy! Hey everyone, and welcome to the Main Street News. Before we begin, I apologize for my voice today. I have a very bad cold and still wanted to make a video either way, so I will sound a little different from normal. You can now support the channel in a new way via Patreon, and just like our Twitter, links are in the description. The Walt Disney Imagineers felt that a Main Street themed after Jazz Age America in the 1920s would be more appropriate than a Victorian architecture that had come from Europe and thus would be less interesting. The stories of the Roaring Twenties captivated everyone in Europe. Jazz, cinema and of course, gangsters. They went a long way down that road, and this version of Main Street, according to Eddie Sato, would have included lots of Art Deco, an America represented by the Chicago and New York seen in the movies. This seemed to be more representative of America in the European eyes than the Main Street inspired by the small township of Marceline, Missouri. One of the many changes that this concept would bring to Main Street would be an elevated train that would go along one side of the street up to the entrance of Discoveryland, a land of visionaries. When reaching this station, it would make its way back to Central Plaza and the street. This would allow guests to circulate without getting wet during the rainy days of Paris. The theme of the land would be very focused on the gangsters and speakeasy, which were places where alcoholic beverages were illegally sold during the 1920s prohibition. One example of this would be how instead of waltz, there would be one of those bars. Here guests would enter an innocent looking flower shop only to later reveal the Cotton Club style jazz hotspot. In this sketch done by Imagineer Herb Ryman, we can see how this jazz club would look like from the outside. Here in this painting, you can see several differences, like the castle for example, making it easy to understand just how early this concept was made. On the right side of Main Street, you can see the elevated tram once again. This would then turn right and go towards the Discoveryland station. This concept art shows a different look into the concept with the Victorian style buildings, but with a gas station and in the back, the elevated tram. During the development of the land, there are lots of ideas that are used in different ways. This would join the old Main Street USA with several elements of the 20s version. Going back to the original 20s Main Street, there would be a private restaurant similar to Club 33 behind Town Square. We would have a secret entrance underneath a railroad that will lead you to a hidden terminal and inside there would be an American-style locomotive train complete with dining cars. The idea was for it to be the most unique private restaurant in Europe. This concept shows the east side of Main Street where there would have been a circular driveway with a limousine that would pull up in front of the theater and this is where you would board it. You can also note the elevated tramway and the different architecture. Another option would be to have a much taller and bigger Discovery Arcade, and the tram would be inside the actual arcade, which I personally think it's the best one. In this version, the tram would give guests a look inside windows that would depict a city of the future as Victorians imagined it, which would be an amazing transition into Discovery Land. Here guests would also find a new attraction using the Circle Vision technology, 
and would tell the story of Hollywood and early film. Here you can also see the proposed entrance to the theater. This idea was quickly rejected because of already set in motion plans for a Hollywood themed second gate. If you want to learn more about the incredible original plans of Disney MGM Studios Europe, make sure to check my video on it. Walt Disney had a fascination with dollhouses and miniatures in general, so Imagineers created Automata Americana. The location would be between the transportation company and the hat shop. Inside, guests would be able to explore many animated miniature scenes based on American traditions and set them in Main Street. One example would be a miniature set of the Main Street cinema that would have tiny figures of kids playing in the aisles and a projectionist with his mop. Many of these were designed but ultimately never used. A gas station would also be present in this new Main Street, and this rough sketch showcases just that. The creator wanted to make it less industrial and more Victorian to fit the Main Street aesthetic. In the 20s version, the facades would have big advertising billboards and cars would be moving up and down the street to give guests an idea of the dynamic atmosphere in the US at that time. Because Main Street acts as the entrance land for the new park, it was considered extending a little bit of the story to outside, beyond the ticketing area and the Disneyland Hotel. This would come in the form of a giant clock, seen in this concept art, being the first thing guests would see when entering the park. While most of the concept was later cancelled in favor for a traditional Main Street, several of the ideas made for the 20s version did in fact make their way into the current street and even to other parks around the world. The windows featuring a depiction of the city of the future made their way into Discovery Arcade, and everyone can now see how people in the early 20th century believed cities would look like in the future. Another thing that made its way to today's Main Street was the gas station. While now it's much smaller, it consists of just a gasoline pump right in front of the Main Street Motors and Auto Shop stores. One of the bigger things that ended up being cancelled and not used was definitely the elevated tram. While it didn't end up being used in Paris, it actually made all its way to another park, in what a lot consider to be Disney's best, Tokyo Disney Sea. Here, the elevated tramway transports guests around the park every single day. This confirms the old tale that nothing in Imagineering is ever truly lost. That's it for this lost version of Main Street USA. Big thanks to Disneyland and more for making an amazing article together with Eddie Sato that joins so much information used in this video. Big thanks to our Patreon supporters, and now, as always, thank you for watching, and that's a wrap.